There we go. All set. Morena. Yes, Morena. Morena. So here it is, Evelyn. Um, yeah, you're right. Ah, get to pay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, see so the choice there of what you might like to respond. Kia Edward, kia Remember the word uh, singing or sing? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Evelyn, singing. remember the yeah. NG in singing? Mm. So if you can get that uh, singing. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 Morena Jacinta. It's a pehia korua. It's a pehua, pehia korua. Korua means two people rather than one. And Mary, my friend here. Can you and see Mary? Mary. Korua ko Mary. No. It's a pehia korua. Korua. <laughs> There's your responses up there. You can use any one of those. Yeah. Oh, right. Hang on, these. Hey, oi. Take a session. No. <laughs> ah, hey, mm. hurry. Anna, no, go. Perfect, Evelyn. Perfect. I <laughs> I want to find a Murray church now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mungo. Yeah. Go up to them. Yeah. Go up to them and say, Tina, quick. Can you pay here quick? <laughs> and they'll give you one of those answers. Okay. Are we supposed to say? Well, um, well they responded. Name Doctor We. Do we get one of these down here? Oh, oh, I see. Hey, uh, uh, pie. 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 David. Pie. Can I respond to that? Can I quit? 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 Can I so tino podi would mean very sad. Tino ngenge would mean very tired. So you've got some of those words in there. Ngenge, hari, pai. Tino just means really elevated, very. Can you say ta atahua? Atahua. 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 A friend, a cousin has just called his daughter that. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, mm. how lovely. Uh, mm. uh, in this case, what have we used it for? Yeah, beautiful. That's correct. Beautiful. I think Paul that, um, came in with it last time. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't think he'll come off in it today. <laughs> it's raining <laughs> at my place. Yes, Ooh. and we Ooh. need e uana, e uana. Uana. So, uana. ua, you're right, um, Megan, ua means rain. So to make it present, present tense, e or kete, e ua ana. E ua ana, right. It's raining. Morena, mm -hmm. Heather, Morena, oh, and Morena, Kim. Morena. Ah, mama, Jacinthia. Ah, mama. Ah, mama. Kahiki te ua i kururaraka. Ai, ai, ai. A tino pai te ua. Ah, tino pai, ai. Yeah, we need it. Ai. Kamaroki te na pamu. Ai. Aye, what Heather's saying is it's very dry in our 
in our mm -hmm. water supply. Mm -hmm. Yes, they've got notices all in town up everywhere saying, you know. Uh, oh, well, shall we mm. begin our that session? The the, the road. You know, others will join us along the way. Okay. So, kia tato, kia tato et whano. No mai haere mai e tēnei zui e mihi ana. Tēnā koutou katoa, tēnā tato katoa. So this morning we'll um, say the opening line from page 404 together and we'll just all say it in Māori together. Okay? Put it up, I think. All right, so you need to have your book open or the screen. Okay, kia to, kia kato. Kato. Yahari, <laughs> 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 You could sort of put the put it out there. To give an eternal spirit. I don't know. Earth what I maker, can. pain bearer, life giver. Life giver. I can see it. Yeah. 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 Father and mother, mother of, of the soul. Oh. Loving, Loving God, 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 God is in whom is heaven. Hallowing of your, your name, echo through the universe. The way of the we follow the people of the world. Your heavenly will be done by the creation of the your commonwealth of peace and freedom and sustain our hope and hope and hope and hope with the bread we need for the day in the hurt and we have sold from one another forgive us in times of temptation and tears strength from trials to great to make endure from the grip of all that is evil evil free us for you reign, the glory of our precious love, love, now and forever. And forever. Yeah. Amen. Kia fokan huia piariki. Kia fokan huia teatua. Kapai. Kapai. Morena vau, morena. Well, here we are. Uh, yeah. No mai hoki mai. Kita tato hui. Uh, kita tato hui i te nei rā. Uh, pai ki te kiti a koutou. Ano. Yeah. Te nei te mihi atu ki a koutou katoa. Te nā koutou katoa. Welcome back everybody. Lovely to see you. Our numbers have dwindled but where two or three are gathered. Amen. So let me just get this up on the screen. So we're on Tapato Wiki Mutunga. Uh, these are words ne not necessarily that we've learned, but uh, Tatato means all of us. Remember, T is totality. I taught you that in the. Um, <laughs> In the Mato, Tato, uh, you know, minus the person you're talking to, totality, yeah. So T is for all of us. So Tato Wiki is weak, U-E-K, Mutunga, 
It's finished. What's yes. it? The share. Finish. Oh, finish. Finish. Oh. More no, Robin. More than no, no, Cynthia, sorry for being late. Kapai, no my hooky might. No my hooky might. Yeah, so uh, no my hooky might keep the tato wiki mutunga. Uh, as you know, this is our final week in this block. Oh, no. And, yeah, <laughs> we do have to come to an end at some time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but Danby, it's okay. We'll be back. Um, Megan and I, she'll explain a little bit more at the end of our session today. But uh, today marks the end of this block, this block. And um, oh, no. i just got to get my thing to dry properly. Here we go. So I just want to sing this song for you because we're going to finish with this today. And you're already familiar with it, so it'll help you with, you'll have two songs already, you may already know them, but this one you might already know. This is one where you can lead, so your people don't have to have the words in front of them. If you lead it well, they just need to mimic you in the tune and the words. E toru nga mea, e toru nga mea, nunu i nga mea, e ki ana, e ki ana, te pai pera, te pai pera, maka puno, maka puno, tu mana ko, tu mana ko. So that's a really wonderful one for you to learn and take with you wherever you go. If you're on a marae, you can use it on a marae. If you're in church, you can use it on church. You can use it as a hymn. You can use it as a wire to back a speaker somewhere. So if you're doing a presentation somewhere and you're finishing your presentation, you can sing this song. It's universal to all occasions. So that's the good about this particular one and the one that we sang last week, which we'll sing at the end of our session today about we, I love this family of God, which you already know. So this one in particular, I encourage you to learn it. Um, I think we've got it on recording somewhere. It's bound to be. I can't remember where, but it is definitely recorded. And it'll be recorded on this session as well. Uh, we have, in the past, session number four, we talked about te karaiti te waiora. Christ is the living water. And... Um, we talked about Kote Karaiti Te Waiora. I've, I've now translated this and put it into, it's the loose translation. Um, because as you know, we tell stories. The way we do things is the way we, it's poetry and we tell it in a story. So Christ is the water of life, which is the same as living water. E horoi nei, washing. Horoi means to wash. And in the book, it's... Um, uh, cleansing and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Making all things new. Yes. If e a ho, ho is new. So when you put a whaka in front of it, it's it's in a it's in a, a doing. It makes it it's an action rather than a statement. So making all things new. Kuia te taro te ora. He is the bread of life. In the book, it's got Christ is the living bread. But it literally, um, he is the bread of life. Hey, kai mate hunga mate kai, food for the hungry. Strength for the stranger. Manene is like a stranger, somebody who's not from your circle. A foreigner, an immigrant, but certainly a stranger in our biblical terms and in our theology that would be stranger. The stranger in our midst, as it were. And kaimahi are laborers, people who work. And that's not just, um, you know, it's all workers. We are workers in our ministry. 
Um, so now we offer our thanks and praise. Fakamoi Matias, thanks. Now this is this. These are sort of the areas where we've had a conflict with the liturgical commission in the past, and I won't delve too far into that. It's about how we terminate, how we use the terminology for living things. And Māori have names for them with capital letters. I've already touched on that in the past. And we've had conflict with the church for a long time over this, but it has been approved for the prayer book. So um, Rangi Nui is sky, and when you capitalize it, it's sky father. Or some people, some people think that we're trying to say sky god. Uh, it's not that we worship other gods. That's been a whole nother theological uh, debate. It's about acknowledging the living in something because nothing is inanimate. And I've said that, I've repeated my stuff, I don't know how many times around that. So the sky is something that lives. It's a living entity. Um, so it's sky, father above, and earth, mother, papa tuanuku, is earth, mother, laid here. Uh, for the mountains, maunga whakahi is mountains, and it's the ridges of the mountains, all the layers of ridges on the mountains, and hills, puke kōri. Uh, mō ngā taimihi tangata, mō ngā moana, so it's coast and seas where people are spread out. So people generally arrive in this country via a, a vessel, a, a sailing vessel. So they refer to the seas and the coast as the places where we landed. Uh, for all good things are given. Given, my tanga, my yuri no comes towards you. my tanga. All good things are given to us. May the calm from the heavens above. I all refers to the calmness, the peacefulness that brings rest, gives a peace in our heart from above. Uh, descend upon the dusty earth below. I really like this um, this terminology, how it's done. Kia tuku te puehu, or papa tuanuku. It refers to the dust. We've become crusty, let's say, using <laughs> using a modern technology, perhaps. Um, but it's about uh, uh, descending upon the dusty earth below. It hasn't been nourished. It needs nourishing. It doesn't refer necessarily just to the earth, it refers to the people as well. So the people have become stagnant, and dusty. May the sea be like green stone. Now, someone asked me about this particular phrase. Um, it's used in Fakatoki, and at the time when I was asked, I talked about the compression of the earth. And over hundreds of years, it creates greenstone, uh, and it and it's only in water. It emerges out of water. It doesn't emerge out of um, dry land. It emerges out of water, so it glistens when it when it reaches the surface. It glistens, glistens. So from that compression of being held, this is how I perceive it. From that from that compression of being held by the earth. Eventually, it's released. And that release is the metaphor to the dusty earth has now been watered. May it glisten now from the waters that have traveled over the green stone that has birthed itself. Um, may the calm then be widespread throughout Aotearoa Nui. Pānui actually means a little bit further than ourselves, outside of ourselves. So when you when you refer to your whānau, your whānau might be your parents, your siblings, your children, your grandchildren. But when you talk about whānau, whānui 
you're now talking about your cousins and your second cousins and your fifth cousins and your tenth cousins and all your all the people who, who relate to you. And if you go back biblically, we're all related. And so that uh, Aotearoa Whanui refers to everybody in that family way. I think it's lovely. Uh, Christ has made good uh, for our ancestors, not just for us, but we're, we're referring to our ancestry where the arrival of the gospel first took place, perhaps. Some people would refer from 1814. I personally know that we had Christ in our midst before 1814. We just didn't tell it in the same way. Uh, our parents and all sacred peoples. The sheltering of the Tōtara, you would know the Tōtara tree. It's quite a formidable tree. It's second only to the Kauri, the Kauri tree. The sheltering of the Tōtara, the guiding ocean rocks. So the ocean rocks, they stick up out of the ocean and they're sturdy. They don't move, nothing moves them. They're always there. So we can use them as, uh, let's say, compass points. Ocean rocks which would also refer to any volcanic birth of islands, like the Pacific Islands, Hawaii, maybe, Greenland, you know, those sort of references. The song of the parrot, Ngā Kā Kā Wahanui. I mentioned this uh, before around, be careful not to say kaka. It has a macron. Because we will hear kaka. So just make sure you say kaka. As soon as you say kaka, we know you're talking about the parrot. So it's the song of the parrot and the well of tears. Now punaroi mata. We use punaroi mata a lot in funerals. Uh, shine understanding upon those who, so the parrot is crying and it's cawing and it's going, ah. Referring to it possibly not being very happy. Doesn't literally say that, but it refers to the parrot's cry or song and the tears that well up. So now we're asking Christ to shine understanding upon them. Because a deep sleep has fallen upon them. They're unaware of the glistening green stone. They're unaware of, of the sky. They're unaware of what potentially could be theirs through Christ. And glory be to God. Gloria be to God. So that was Kote Karaiti Te Waiora. We're now moving on to the second part of that, which is uh, and the Tehe Parapai. Kote uh, Nerane, or this. And you can use one or the other or both in your service. Christ is the good servant, uh, good shepherd. He para is shepherd. Mohiwana e atapayana e nga hippi kato. Hippi is sheep. Who knows and cares for the sheep of different flocks. So not just one flock. So it's not necessarily just the flock in your church on a Sunday. It's people that you touch and go out to meet. In Christ, there is no local people. Uh, in the book, it says, um, no discrimination of gender, class, or race. Um, Māori just simplified it by saying there's no tangata whenua. You, many of you would have heard that expression, tangata whenua. It refers to the indigenous people of the land. So when we go to Australia, the Tangata Whenua are the Aboriginal city. If you go to America, the Tangata Whenua are the Indians, Indian Americans. So Tangata Whenua are the people of the land. So in this case, rather than saying the people of the land, in this context, it's talking about, it's not separating the locals and the foreigners. which essentially says what the English is saying, but in a different way, 
more broadly. Tauiwi is visitor, not of this land. Um, no returning of the darkness. Kahore anu hoki he So it's saying that Christ is the good shepherd taking care of us. There's no discrimination between local and foreigner. And so the darkness is gone. There's no returning of that darkness. In Christ, the poor are, uh, are preserved. Preserved is a lovely way of, of saying it. It says, um, in Christ there is, oh, in Christ the poor are blessed. Yeah, so we don't literally, we're not literally saying blessed, but it does mean the same thing. Kahunaya te pono o te hunga kawe mōhio. The truth is not hidden from those less knowing. So the simple receive truth hidden from the wise. Interesting, eh? The truth is not hidden from those less knowing. That's what the Māori says. Giving grace to the humble. That's what the Māori says. So the translation group would have been given the English. I've already told you the English was always presented to Māori and then we had to, we had to translate it. So we didn't have a choice in the English translation. Areduya, you're already familiar with that. Kororia ki te atoi, you already know that. Glory be to God. Uh, tika is about, tika is right. Righteous, uh, a person who's, you know, you can um, trust that they are telling you the truth. This is a person who said, who, what you see is what you get, what you hear is true. So it took us quite a, quite a, um, it's, it's a, it's a strong word. Uh, we meet many people who are not tika in all walks of life, in all races. So to be a tika person is, is quite a, quite a, um, um, you know, quite an esteemed, to be referred to as a person who is tika is actually quite an esteemed um, you know, label, if you like, or, or, or reference to your character. Uh, so what's right and love? Uh, you give us the work to do. So now, now you've handed it all over, you've taken the darkness away, you've identified who are the people in our midst that we should be working for, and now you give us the work to do. And now we have to immerse ourselves. Iruma kina, beautiful word, to immerse. To, to, to not just ponder around at the top here with, with a book and words, it's actually to immerse ourselves with those who are hurting. And I guess in many instances, we could refer to our pastoral work as that particular that Ruma Kina, actually sitting and listening and immersing yourself in their story, in their truth, and offering them the truth of Christ. Uh, and lift up the fruits to become known. So that's about revealing those truths, the truths we have come to know through scripture, faith. And that's, that's the he parapai. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's been helpful to actually go through the whole lot with you. Te wai ora, Christ the living water, and, and he parapai, Christ the good shepherd. Those two parts of our liturgy. Um, now I'll just see what the next slide is. Oh. Yes, but wait, there's more, because there's the second part of that. Oh, there is two. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 
poo. Oh, I like this word. I think I mentioned this the last time. This poo. This word poo. It's got a punch. Poo actually, um, if you were to use a very modern term, it's about a gunshot. It's 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 when you aim something and you pull the trigger and it goes bang. That's that's how I know poo. It's got punch. So rise up through your kindness. So this is about, you know, us and those that we minister to, we need to then give it some punch. That poo poo. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining myself well enough, but it's 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 not just a, 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 a simple soft word. It's a it's a word with attitude, if I could put it that way. It's got attitude. Don't soften it. So um, preachers like myself, for instance, I'm quite animated. Uh, and I, when, when something has a punch to it, I actually, you can see that I'm really deliberate in the way that I say it or do it or talk about it. So this one, rise up through your kindness, is what it says. But when it's done in papu, it's actually got some punch. So that we may show kindness to others. So it's really punching us to, you know, don't just, it's not just words. Just immerse yourself, go in there, do it, do it well. Do it right. That's what it's actually encouraging us to do. And we all may live in the peace and free from anxiety in this world. This that last piece. To free us. From what troubles us, which is so appropriate for Hipparapa, the good shepherd, what we what we are if we're out there ministering, what Christ is. We need to, um, you know, model ourselves on Christ shepherding with other people. And uh, I was brought up on a farm, and if any of you are very familiar with cows or sheep or goats or pigs or any animal at all. Every now and again, you've got to pull out the stick and you've got to poke them. You've got to whack their feet or you've got to whack their behind, particularly cows, to get them into the, into the stalls. And, and this is what I see about the papu. Now and again, you just got to get the stick out. And even in pastoral care, for instance, you know, where people are sort of singing the same song week after week, month after month, and they're not making any improvement to their situation or not even trying for that matter. Sometimes as a shepherd, you do have to use the little sound and try and get them past the speed bumps. That's what this tells me, personally. And I think when Māori probably was talking about it, I suspect that they may actually be, uh, many of them were farmers. They would have brought, uh, particularly Māori Mars, and he lived in that Whangarei, way out in the Wubops, and he had cows. And he was one of the major translators of the uh, liturgy. So that's, and knowing that, knowing him and some of the other translators, I'd say that this possibly could be their thinking around this translation. And I think that could be the last bit, yeah. So I wondered if you might like to go away and have a, I don't know. What do you think, Megan? Should we? Yeah, I think put the, we're going to break rooms and let you discuss, you know, how this translation feels for you. Yeah, talk about this translation in particular, because when you come back, we'll send you in for about 15 minutes. Uh, when you come back, I'll be looking for commentaries from you particularly around this text, Christ is the living water, Christ is the good shepherd. And how, how does the story speak into your ministries? How can you then speak it out to others, that papu, um, in your ministries? And, and how is it relevant? Is that okay? Yeah. Go into yeah, are there any questions? Yeah, yeah, I've got a question. You know, yeah. you know when you get the double A together, how do you yeah. pronounce that? It's like a macron. Oh. It's like a macron, but possibly just a little bit longer. So the atahua, for instance, A-T-A-A. -A. 
H-U-A. Yeah. It's always spelt that way, but really it should be said Ata Ahua. Yeah. Okay. Ata so you ahua. don't say it as A-A. -A. You don't say the A twice. You just say it as a long A. No, we just okay. string it together. Make it long. Ata okay, that's what I want to Like a macro. Like yeah, a macro. Okay. So yeah. earlier when we first logged in, you might have just missed this, Robin. Um, we talked about it's raining, and the mm. word is ua. Ua for rain. Mm. So when you use a northern dialect, it's e, ua, ana, which is a present tense, means it's raining. It's not, it doesn't mean it rained or it's going to rain. It means it's raining now. Oh, yeah. So e, ua, ana. So you've got two A's to get on the end of ua and on the start of ana. We string them together, e, ua, ana. Oh, I see. Make it one word, yeah. It is, yeah, it sounds like one word. It is two words, but in the case of our Tahua, it's still that two at double A's in one word, but it's the same sound. When you've got those two um, vowels together, whether they're in one word or two words stringed together, you just string them together like a macro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, and another thing is if we're going, I'm actually not at home today and I haven't got my prayer book. So if we're going into groups, um, have we got the words? Somewhere. Oh, you haven't got your prayer book today. Oh, I haven't got a prayer book with me, so um, um, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the, the group will guide you as well. Yeah, you'll be all right. You put back up or something. Yeah. <laughs> all okay. right. Cool. We'll see you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> In the, in you the, do, you yeah. do. Well, at least we've yes. got that. Yeah. We've, mm. so. we've kind of moved out. <laughs> oh, it's the power I have, Val. <laughs> in, in the middle of my talking, too. Oh, sorry. Oh. Usually it gives a countdown. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay, mm. sorry. Can you, you can repeat it to Val? us here, if you like? I'd love to hear what she was going to say. Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Please, Val. I was talking about my introduction of um, using Te Reo in the services and the, the complaints I'd had and how I dealt with them. And um, I was just saying that um, I, was ex I explained to them that we're a country. We're not just a country. We should be you know, using Te Reo as much as we could. And um, to keep them happy, we the, the main one was about the Lord's Prayer. They said they really wanted it in English. So we do it twice. We do it yes. once in communion and mm -hmm. another in the service in Maori. So we keep them oh. Yes. <laughs> a win-win, a win as it were, there. Well, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> and we say in English and in Te Reo as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Do you think you're, the same people would complain if um, using the 404 liturgy you led them in Kyrie Eleison? Would they be upset with that? I don't know. It would be interesting to find <laughs> we do that. If we can pray in Greek, why can't we pray in Tarell? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> It will be a it will be a, a, a challenge. I, I I certainly hear what you're saying. It's a challenge yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, it's a challenge for me. I have the same challenge. I serve a Pakeha parish, and um, uh, but they've uh, two and a half years later they've they've warmed to me. Let's say. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of resistance, and but n not anymore. It takes time. Yeah, it does take time. They, they, they don't like change of any kind. No. No. And I think some of the things that I mentioned a little earlier about immersing yourself, you know, immersing yourself. So if somebody was to go and visit, let's say, your pastoral team in your, in your groups, if they went to go and visit a Maori person, how might they relate and immerse themselves in the Maori context? 
Mm, I think that's a question. Uh, and it might be that you don't visit Māori people, but let's say you had a Māori person in the pew. They become part of your family. That person now needs you to go and visit them pastorally. How might you immerse yourselves in that context, in their context, so that they feel that, you know, that they feel connected, let's say, connected with the person, with the hepa. Anyway, so commentaries. Anything mm -hmm. else? Thank you for sharing that, Val. Um, I acknowledge the challenges for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I seem to have only got um, a screen of breakout rooms and how do I get out of that? I can't seem to get out of it. Oh. Yes, thank you. You're not just... What about if you click on, click on the top speaker view? Now we've got... Speaker view. Well, no, you're in the main room. I think we're all the same. Thing. We're all the same. I think we've all it's just all, got very yes, just a slide. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do some directions at the bottom. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yours will say. Just a screen. Gallery view. That's a screen. But you can, so can you hear us, but you can't see us? Is that correct? I can. I've just. Well, I, I think we've all just got breakout rooms up. I think it's the main screen that needs to be changed. Or, or um, the other try to try is to click on go to full screen. You may be back into a small screen. See at the very top right. Does that take oh, a screen up? share is when we're all there? I think. Top right hand corner. That's on back to that. Exit or enter full screen. Whole mm -hmm. I can see you all, but you can't see us. I can see you. I can see <laughs> you can. You can. Um, well, we'll keep talking. And in the meantime, um, Megan will try and get you out of those breakout rooms. Um, I don't think it's anything you have to do. It's obviously a oh, control. Um, um, uh, any other commentaries around uh, Te Wai Ora Te Hepara Pai section? Oh, let's just delete me. Brought me to tears. Brought you to tears? Yeah. Oh, Evelyn, yeah, it's quite, um, uh, Megan was saying, her and I were chatting and uh, when you went off into your breakout rooms about the, the level, of, the depth of the um, explanation. That's what it is, isn't it, Evelyn? It, it takes it to a different realm. Absolutely. It's so, it has that spirit of Indigenous people where they're so close to the land mm. that they see it as a sacred mm. part of us. Yeah. We are the land. Yes. There's no question yes. in the Māori mind. No, not separate. We're not separate from, cre from the created world, yeah. And, um, yeah, I guess it's it's difficult because we live in a modern world, too. And, and so I guess the voices have had to uh, quiet, let's say, quiet and um, down uh, about how passionate we are. But we'd love to see a lot less um, plundering of mm. Earth's resources, quite frankly. Um, and uh, on a personal level, I know that I, uh, what I can do, uh, and I know how I can put food on my table rather than money in my pocket. And I think, I think that's a difference in in many ways. We've gotten used to getting money in our pocket, of course, of course. Why wouldn't we? We've lived that life for over two hundred years. But it's that value, isn't it? The value, how we value things, how we value. And, and the word is not something Christ and God and the created world is actually not something new to Māori. It didn't come in 1814, by the way. We just didn't use the same terminology. But we definitely acknowledge the created world and the creator. See, it's coming from the heart, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you, Evelyn. And, and it is a blessing to be able to be given an opportunity to share it, to share a perspective. You know, um, my sharing of my perspective is not hard and fast. It, it depends, I guess, on who you talk to and, and how do they want to portray their perspective and portray mm -hmm. their understanding. Yes, uh, I have my favourite interpreters of uh, English text. Um, I do, and, and one of them is Victor Mokaraka at, um, at St John's College. He, he has a beautiful way of unpacking scripture and unpacking uh, liturgy. Beautiful way of doing it. And uh, I have to say, I have to admit that uh, during three and a half years of college, um, I cried too. In the way but it's going, it's something that's going to become a universal, I think, in the future. In some ways, it's kind of hopeful that the COVID-19 lockdown has given us some sort of uh, uh, reason to think up a new normal, you know, to to come up with a new norm, mm. not come up, that's not quite the right word, but to immerse ourselves in a new normal. Mm. Transform. That's it. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us have already been very interested in, um, <clears throat> in helping the environment. And I don't know, um, I signed petitions and so does my friend Mary. And the, we've had lots of groups out here, the coastal care group, you know, planting trees. And it was the year 2000 when I planted trees down at Uratiti. You know, just things that we can do that, yeah, that might helped. make a difference. But there's, there's a and division about it. between yeah. the systems. There is. <laughs> yeah, the systems aren't being helpful. Mary <clears throat> Kepper, Dr. Mary Kepper's taken it up and it's going to further... I hope the unity of of us all in Ooh. in uh, challenging the systems because NRC and DOC too they're just not mm. responding to the workers on the ground like coastal care they're just not responding you at know least, at least those genetically engineering people yeah well, well we've got the, the precautionary clause yeah. <laughs> The Northland um, Regional Council has actually capitulated mm -hmm. and we've now got the precautionary GE clause in the long-term plan. Yes. yes, and that was very just good. yesterday. Well done. Well a done. lot of funding for oh. that. Yeah. Yes, there's been, there's been a long ongoing fight about that too and oh, Lali yes. was very active. Um, I worked in the uh, final District Council for eight years as yes. uh, in environmental <laughs> management and Māori mm -hmm. development. So... Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, Māori was singing quite a strong song in those days when yeah. I was there to, to mm. change the yes. way we do things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so the Pohere Insights, um, Val, you did something on Pohere Sunday and got a little bit of critiquing. Sorry, I, I did a little bit of... Did you, do, did you introduce something on Pohere Sunday into your service? Yes, I did, but uh, no, sorry, not this year because we didn't have a service this year on table oh. here. But I have a special service that I run normally when we do have services on table here. Okay, so. thank you, thank you. Did anybody do anything different on Pohiri Sunday this year? Yes, St. We Francis. St. <laughs> <Saint> Francis. St. <clears throat> Francis had Deborah, and she was fantastic. And she used Edward's, um, his thesis, which was amazing too. Yes. The two waka. Twin waka. Oh, the two holes. Side two, by side. Two holes. Yes, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Lovely. Was that in her sermon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you use any, did, uh, was any of the rail used? For introducing, yes. or yeah, we use yes. We'd had the um, Lord's Prayer right. in Māori. Great, yeah, great. Right. Would you normally use the Lord's Prayer? Have you already been using the Lord's Prayer in the um, past? Edward has brought it in, and 
David, I think. Yeah, David's okay. done it. Okay. Cool. Any other Pohedi insights? At Onirahi, um, we had a very, it was very focused on the um, three tikanga and our service, but Paul, who's normally here but not here today, he, mm. I've got the Maori word for me, he led the creed in Maori, he did the chant and he did it really, really well. Great. Wow. And, and, the, and the Lord's Prayer in Maori. And um, he also did the karanga. We went up to community. Oh, and yeah, that no, was great. Very good. Hmm. Yeah. That is great. Mm. I've, I've actually uh, served in Onarahi um, Church when I was priest in charge in Whangarei. Mm. Um, I've served in, in that church. So uh, Tikangarua has been kind of in the church for quite some time in Onarahi. So it's lovely that it's increasing and that's great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And I think it was well received. You know, I think, you know, everyone was into it. So it was good. Mm. Did anybody else want to share anything? I um, mean, Russell, I didn't take the service, but Chris did. And he used the lovely Kote Karaiti to Paul Hering Awaka. Christ is yes. the um, pitching post. Yes. Uh, and we had two Māori hymns as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, beautiful. So just a little bit at a time, I continue to encourage you. Mm -hmm. uh, just little bits. Uh, you might, yeah, you're going to have to take the punches. Um, take them gracefully. Smile, which is what I did with my parish. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry you feel that way. You know, pat them on the on, on the hand on the way out, and then <laughs> and, and do it again the following week. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that from me. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a reminder that there are macrons in the separate. I, I, I keep forgetting about the new smaller version, the Eucharistic prayer version. That's got all the macrons in it for your great Thanksgiving services. Uh, the prayer book will be, it's well and truly on it. It's being printed as we speak in China. I expect to get a sample copy in the next month. Um, so we're on, on target for about September for the new prayer book, which will have all the rest of the stuff in it as well. Gosh, that'll be expensive doing a whole new prayer book. Yeah, mm. a whole new prayer book. Been a lot of work, a lot of work, and I've been involved mm. in a lot of work. Now, mm. so, mm. Will some of it be available online, or would you have to get it from the book? Yes, it's, it's already being updated online now. Oh, as we speak, mm -hmm. so we don't have to wait for the book. The the online versions, if you go there, it's already mm -hmm. nice. And um, but it won't you know. have it won't have everything in the collects and all of that hasn't been uploaded yet. But certainly, uh, you can get all the uh, Polynesian oh, liturgies are all available oh, so, oh, so, so. online. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's muted herself now. <laughs> So would like would somebody like to um, lead us in this um, wayata, please? And we'll we'll follow up you. Thank you, Sean. Well, where is it? We haven't got it yet. <laughs> oh, it's on the screen. Oh, if, if they oh, can't see them, and I can't see it. it. I don't know what's happened. Oh, oh there You'll it is. It. You'll just have to lead it to Cynthia. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'll lead. It. <laughs> no, I'm sorry because I can't work it out. Is that the one? Yeah, todu nga mea. Todu nga mea. So uh, translated, it means there are three things of the greatest importance that informs us or is informing from the Bible. They are akapono, faith, tu manako, hope, and kote mea nui, the biggest of these is love. Can I ask a question? I, uh, not being very musical, I always need some musical accompaniment. Is there somewhere yeah. I can get the musical background to this? Yes, we Is put it, it in Dropbox, Dropbox and um, Dropbox. I, I made a YouTube. Uh, it's on YouTube as well, our YouTube channel. On There's YouTube. an MP4 there. Thank you. I can download that. Yeah. Uh, the magic of it, of course, is that people, your, your, the people you worship with, they don't actually need the words. Uh, it, it, in fact, it would be better if they didn't have the words, really. Only you have the words in front of you, and you just say it. It's all 
You don't even need words. You're looking at breakout rooms. You didn't even need those words. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, I wouldn't give them the words. Let them just follow it after you because they'll listen to it. They'll hear it and they'll say it correctly. That's a really important thing. Whereas if they've got the words in front of them, they'll try and say it the way they think it should be said. When would be a good time to introduce that in the service? Any time. It's universal. Okay. It can be a hymn, it can be in your sermon, depending on what you're talking about, uh, what are the readings, it can be um, in your notices, you know, as you finish your notices, depending on your time, you would have to make that call, but it's universal. Okay. Bring it in any time. You already know this one. <laughs> Yeah, I told you you all would someone please close us with this? Hari irunga e te aroha, hari irunga e te rangi Māori nei. Thank you, Tita. Thank you. I'll hand it back to you, Megan. Okay, thank you very much, Jacinta. Um, yeah, are you able to turn off your slideshow? And we'll see if everyone comes back. <laughs> All right, is everyone back in? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we. Maybe. Yes. Are you back in Val? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that must have been some sort of hangout. Oh, okay. That must have been what it was, eh? Because I already had it open when they came back in. Uh, so yes, that might be something. The it's something new. We were just Cynthia and I were saying we've got this all under control now. We're doing really well. <laughs> pet, 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 um, pet, pet. So we've just no, learned we something new we didn't know. So thank you. Um, so Sorry. thank you all. It's been a great six sessions. Um, so we're coming up with another uh, block of three in July. So that was in the email that was sent out. So we have Pihopa, mm. Pihopa? Is that how you say Pihopa? Pihopa. Oh, 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 oh. I always get that wrong, eh? Pihopa. Uh, Kite um, is coming to talk to us on uh, liturgical background. So that will be a really interesting session. And then we're going to move on to the Pepeha. So a bit of our history and connection to the land will develop, we'll teach teach a way uh, with that and then come together and share it. So I hope that uh, is something to look forward to. Uh, other than that, thank you all for um, coming and sharing this sessions and um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we both have. Yeah. That's in the liturgy. God be with you. Um, Peace be with you. Thank you all very much.
Catch you next time. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Good one. Mm. Yes. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry.